Well, hey everybody, welcome back. It is day three of my entrepreneurial mindset series. And I hope you've been enjoying the first two days where we talked about the 80-20 rule. We talked about saying no. And today we are going to talk about this concept of productivity. So productivity is kind of a big word. Maybe it's a little abstract to you, but I want to walk you through uh, one of the things that I have really harnessed, leaned into, embraced in order to grow and scale my business. So if you rewind the time all the way back to 2011, um, I had a six month old and a two and a half year old at home. So Landon and Bryce were itty bitty babies. And I personally was going through my physical transformation of really reclaiming myself and getting my confidence level back up after two pregnancies being able to get my nutrition on track and finding a new balance between sort of, you know, this mom life and not sleeping at night and just, it's like figuring out a new routine, right? And so then I added on top of this, a business that I wanted to start. And so when I launched my business, I really had to say to myself, okay, you know, if I want to make money at it, which is exactly what I wanted to do, right? The reason I became a coach with my, with the business opportunity was because I was seeing great results and I wanted to share it with others. Second on that list was I saw this business as a way for us to create a little more financial comfort where we didn't have to live paycheck to paycheck. I could pay for our holiday gifts in cash that following that year that was coming up. Uh, I wanted to be able to earn the rewards trip so that my family could go on a vacation. So I had goals, but goals are great. Saying something is one thing, but doing is another. And so I knew that in order to bridge the gap between what I was saying and that actually happening meant that I had to take action. And because I didn't have the luxury of putting my children on the bus like I do today and sitting down at my computer and working for eight hours, I had to be very strategic about how I was going to use my time. So you see me today and the lifestyle that I have where my kids are school age and this is my full-time job, but I built the foundation, the bricks, the, the basics of my business during a very chaotic time of life where my time was fragmented and, um, and I really didn't have, you know, long stretches of time to accomplish my business tasks. So the first thing that I did as a business owner was I got myself a planner. So if you are considering launching a business or you own a business now, you know, your calendar is number one, number one, because if you are not in control of your time, basically your time is going to control you and everybody else's agenda is going to dictate your day. And what happens is you keep pushing yourself all the way to the bottom of the list and you really never get to do the things that are most important. So get yourself a planner. Um, I currently use, it's called the Rise Up Planner. You can get it on Amazon. Um, the author is Moira Kusaba. And I like this planner. And the reason I like it is because it has blocks of time. So from six in the morning till you know 10 o'clock at night, I can time block my day. I live and die by blocks of time and color coding what I'm doing throughout the day. So number one, when you're looking at productivity, you have to say to yourself, okay, what is, what do I need to put on my calendar? And I always start with the things I can't change. So my kids basketball practices, um, I put on their meetings that I have doctor's appointments, things, maybe it's your full-time job, right? So put on the calendar things that you can't change, pick up, drop off from school, whatever it may be. Then from there, I say to myself, what is my goal for the week ahead? What is my one goal? What is the one thing I want to focus on that I want to accomplish that at the end of the week, I would feel really good if I could make that goal happen. Then I sit down and I make a list of everything that I need to do to get to that goal. So let's say, for example, um, we're just going to use like a new business. And so I want to acquire my first three customers in my business. So what are all the ways I acquire customers? So I'm going to make a list of those activities. I am going to invite people to join 
um, my support group. I am going to send some follow-up messages to people I talked to last week. I am going to touch base with the woman that I chatted with at the grocery store. Um, I am going to post on social media that I have this opportunity for people to get plugged into a support and accountability group. I am going to give people a peek behind the scenes at my day. So I, I'm going to send out an email. I'm just spouting it out, right? So I'm going to make a list. That's step number one. Make a list of all the ways that we are going to get those three customers in the next seven days, all right? Now, what, that I have this list, I'm going to look at my calendar. I'm going to say, okay, when am I going to build my business? And I take with pencil because we all know life is busy and we've got to move things around, right? Because we, and this is one thing I live by is that I am fixed in the goal. I'm getting those three people, but the way that I get there, I'm going to allow that to be fluid, right? So that is fluid. So if I put it on my calendar and a meeting pops up or I have a sick kid at home, I understand that this is going to be the goal, but I may have to readjust my time in order to get there. With that being said, I'm gonna look at my calendar and I'm gonna start placing times. So when my kids were very little, I would, I would get up an hour earlier. I would make sure that we were home for nap time. And so it would be like from two to 3.30, I would block that out. And then I would take something from the list. I would say, what's, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? All right, I'm gonna make my social media post. Write that in there, half hour, whatever, however long it's gonna take me. Then it was, okay, I still got an hour left. So in that next hour, I am going to send my follow-ups. I'm going to invite five people. Uh, I'm gonna make an Instagram story. Done, my hour and a half is done. Then I move on. Okay, when's the next block of time I can build my business? Am I gonna build my business from eight to nine once the kids go to bed before my husband and I sit on the couch and watch a TV show? Am I going to work the next day in the morning? And so I just begin to block out business time. And then I plug in those things, those really important tasks that I need to do. And so I'm only focused on one really big business goal, and that is getting the customers I need to get in the next seven days. And so when you break your business down that way, you become more productive. And when I sit down and I open my computer screen or I open my phone, I am already saying what is the most important thing that I need to get done in this time? Like, why am I actually opening the computer? And I go in with intentionality. That keeps me from getting distracted. It keeps me from scrolling the news feed. It keeps me from watching other people's Instagram stories because I know my time is limited. My time is precious and I need to get to work if I want to be able to take that vacation. If I want to make the money to buy those Christmas presents, I know that I have to be disciplined. So it's a practice of catching myself when I start to scroll or catching myself when I'm wasting time and getting back to work, all right? So I like to look at my day and I like to say, do the most important things first, as soon as you can, and then everything else will fall into place afterwards. I use my weekends as catch up time because it's quieter on the weekends, you know, especially when Matt worked full time and my boys were little, he would watch them for, you know, a few hours on Saturdays and Sunday mornings. And I could spend, you know, two to three hours really cranking out the things I needed to get done. But I can't stress enough the importance of saying, what is the one thing I'm working towards? What is the one goal that I want to accomplish between now and the next week and next week at this time? And always asking myself, is this helping me get closer to my end goal? If the answer is no, then I just redirect myself. If I find myself wasting time, I don't get discouraged. I just simply get myself back on track. Guys, anybody can build a business like this. Please know that where we are right now, where you guys are right now, and the vision you have for your life is up here. You don't just take one giant leap to reaching your goals. It is these daily, just chipping away at the goal until you get there. All right, and it starts with productivity, and it starts with this task right here. So my suggestion to you guys is this, pull out your calendar. I want you for the next week to really say, okay, what's my one goal? And how am I going to fit it in? And so I really want you to be able to say to yourself, like, okay, I can totally build this business. I can totally rock this. I can totally reach my health and fitness goals, whatever it may be. I want you to see that productivity is totally yours and it's totally doable. No matter how busy you think you are, you can always find the time for the things that you really desire in life.
All right, I hope today was helpful. As always, if you've got questions or you want me to elaborate on anything more, you can send me an email at mjmitro at gmail.com. You can drop me a direct message and I will definitely get back to you guys. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow for part number four.